Cancers, this is your weekly reading for August 2021. This is Diane with Real3 High Priestess. Thank all of you guys for coming back to watch your weekly reading. I do appreciate it. Let's see what messages you have coming in here this week. Give me cards here for Cancer. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, Spirit. Cancer, I just want to remind you that I do not offer personal readings. Someone just emailed me on Facebook and asked me if I offer personal readings. They just got a message uh, saying that I want to do a personal reading for them, but I don't offer personal readings. I feel like I'm going to have to say this on every video. So my uh, beautiful subscribers will not get scammed by these mother ifas out here, okay? Because I don't want you guys to get scammed by anyone. I'm not offering personal readings right now at this moment, okay? Um, I also want you to remember that this message may not resonate with everyone. Um, so take what you need out of this message, okay? If you feel like this message does resonate with you uh, and you would like to support me in this channel, make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell. And if the reading does not resonate, please check the description box. Mm -hmm. Check the description box here, Cancer, um, so that you can watch any of the other readings that I have uh, on this channel and pick the ones that resonate with you here, okay? Let's get your overall energy out from the Oracle. love here uh cancer i feel like you are really craving love you have the woman that's coming in some of you guys are craving love craving closeness craving affection right now at this moment so if you are in a committed relationship i feel like you and your partner will um be closer here okay uh some of you guys I'm feeling like you really want this energy. You really need this energy. Your partner may really need it as well. So possibly this week you want to focus on uh, just giving a little bit more attention to your relationship and your partnership and building with each other, sharing ideas and uh, encouraging each other here, making each other feel good, okay? You have privileged lady that is coming in here. You also have the magnifying glass as well as your overall energy here for the oracle so with this magnifying glass here cancer i feel like some of you guys you may feel in your work life things may not be going as smoothly as you would hope they would be going here but your spirit team is wanting you to keep a positive state of mind um right now at this moment and they want you to uh definitely not let people hold you back don't let their opinions of you uh, hold you back. They're letting me know that um, all of their opinions aren't always accurate here, okay, or needed. <laughs> all right, just letting you know that. Some of you cancers, you're like, I know what I need to do, okay? I, I'm t intuitive enough. I, I feel the energy here, and I know exactly where I need to go. I feel like in some way here, you're... Um, some people are just watching you very closely with this magnifying glass here, seeing what's going on in your life. This could be uh, a new love for some of you guys here, my singles. That's what I'm feeling. You may have someone watching you right now at this moment, wanting to get to know you. You have new love that's coming in, Cancer. Your card is saying a new love or recommitment to love is developing. And they want you to surrender procrastination. With this card here, uh, they're giving me two messages. So you have the message of love. And I see love interest possibly coming in here or someone uh, checking you out here. Um, so I feel like if you're single here... Um, there's this need for you to be open with your emotions 
and allow someone come to come in and really show you who they truly are instead of you investigating uh, and getting all worked up or tied up in your emotions in regards to who you think they are here, okay? Um, in the area of work here, Cancer, I feel like this card that says surrender procrastination may be uh, gifts and talents that you currently have or great ideas that you may be holding inside of you, but you are not releasing them. You're not working towards uh, your gifts or expanding them or sharing them out of fear of what other people may be saying about you here, or uh, you may be fearing that you may get uh, people looking at you negatively okay and not understanding quite what you are doing here okay i feel like you don't need to listen to that um noise here okay they're letting me know that whatever they're saying um isn't truth don't let it be your truth here okay you need to expand yourself and grow in the way that you need that you feel like you need to grow here your card is saying now is the time to jump on goals instead of putting it off taking action will attract success so stop procrastinating stop holding yourself back okay you're probably better than uh them to be honest with you and you may be holding yourself back because you're ju you're judging yourself too uh, harshly or you are worried how others will perceive you here, okay? You have apology that is coming in. Uh, your card is saying you can expect the apology you want to hear here, okay? Some of you guys, this recommitment to love is a past lover that may be coming back to reconcile a relationship with you because they miss you here, okay? So some of you guys will be receiving an apology. But you also have a card that says surrender to setting limits here. So you, you've outgrown something in some want, some situation. I feel like your spirit team is saying move along in your path here, Cancer, uh, so that you can meet success or you can um, open open doors to success or make room for success here, okay? Your card is saying it is um, healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. What? Yes. Okay. You can apologize, but no still means no. Maybe some of you guys are accepting an apology right now at this moment, but you are not accepting um, or giving second chances here. Okay. Your focus here. The overall energy coming in for you here, Cancer, is a 10 of pentacles. So you're focused on long-term uh, goals going forward. You're focused on uh, material stability. Some of you guys are focused on your money, investing it, or working harder to uh, get that nest egg where you feel comfortable in your life, okay? Like you have savings in the bank account, and you're investing your money here in trade and Bitcoin and things of that sort here, okay? You're looking for long-term stability but I also feel like you want a partner that is on the same page with you so you may not be accepting past people back because you know there's a reason why you walked away from that in the first place okay so I see that you are you guys may be craving this love and this closeness but you are picking your partners very wisely with the ten of pentacles here okay so your energy this week is a lover's card i feel like you will draw in quite a bit of attention but you are also going to be uh picking your partners like i said very closely here so the lover's card is all about choice and you're going to be choosing uh, i feel your lovers very wisely but still being open to the possibility, okay? Um, they still want you to be open to the possibility of new love, okay? Don't close yourself off because of something uh, that may have happened in the past um, or a relationship that did not work out for you here in the past because I see so much better, um, so, uh, so many opportunities here for you in the future. So what you need to focus on is growth with the three of pentacles energy that is coming in. You also need to show off your skill set. So in regards to work, I'm seeing that you keeping a positive uh, frame of mind and not letting people hold you back and you really showing off your skills will bring in a lot of opportunities with the three of pentacles that's coming in here, okay? You have the five of cups in the past energy. So you're leaving negativity behind or sadness behind. It was possibly a relationship you decided to let go of because your needs weren't getting met um, or you f uh, you feel like you could not... Um, 
fulfill someone else's needs. Like what they wanted wasn't what you wanted and you guys weren't on the same page here, okay? I feel like you're uh, moving forward from that energy with a high honors card here and uh, you're seeing this situation as a lesson here. You have the gift coming in, but I feel like you have the gift of clarity and that's why the Five of Cups is in the past here, okay? Because you're clear about where... Um, you were and you know where you're wanting to go here, okay? You have the page of cups coming in in regards to what is hidden. So someone has hidden feelings for you. It may be more than one person. It may be your past person and a new person that I am seeing here, okay? But I feel like you will get messages of love or communication from uh, one or the other or both that is coming in here. One of those, you need to make a decision whether or not it's worth your time and your effort to put in more energy um, into a partnership here, okay? So you're making critical decisions, okay, for your life because you want better with the Eight of Cups here in the future. So you're walking towards things that make you happy, that make you feel uh, fulfilled. The Eight of Cups is about change. And I feel like uh, whatever you were disappointed about here in the past, that is exactly what you are walking away from because you want something new. Okay, let's take a look at what message Spirit has for you in regards to your self-care. What self-care advice do you have here for Cancer Spirit? Thank you. Mm -hmm. So first and foremost here, Cancer, they're letting you know that your intuition is on point this week. If you feel like you're a little off, take some downtime and, and meditate, but uh, trust what you're feeling. Trust your intuition to guide you uh, in the right direction. I feel like success is coming towards you as well. Uh, so they want you to align yourself to uh, the blessings that are coming in for you here and open yourself up to change. So listen to your intuition as part as yourself care here this week you have flow like water so go with the flow here know that what you're feeling uh it should alert you and tell you which direction you should go here okay it's all about your emotions when the water shows up you also have pleasure so do things that make you uh feel good uh that bring you pleasure here okay they also want you to practice deep breathing here this week uh, and meditative work here, okay? Some of you guys may be feeling like uh, in some areas of your life, like I said in the beginning of your reading, things aren't moving smoothly as you'd hope. Uh, take some deep breaths because I feel like um, things will start to move even gradually for some of you guys, but it's still moving in the right direction. Be patient with yourself here. <clears throat> Let's get a word from Spirit. What else do you have here for Cancer? Okay. So you have the number 11 that is coming in and is also talking about diving deep. So the, I, want, I feel like they're wanting you to dive deep in your emotions here, okay? And really... Uh, figure out what you're feeling and where you're going here, okay? Uh, moving forward. Your card is really talking about you uh, being powerful, um, but also vulnerable at this time. They want you to be alert to sabotage and criticism that may hinder your progress moving forward. They want you to also take care of yourself and uh, get rid of anything that is problematic or... Um, Decide on releasing people, places, or things that may become or are problematic to you, right? Okay. That is your reading, Cancer. I love you guys. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload for you again. I will see you guys in the next reading. Take care of yourself. Bye.